Hi guys, uh, this is Actor. Uh, welcome to a new video of my Forex training course. Um, I hope you are enjoying the uh, course so far. In this video I'm going to be talking about flag formations and of course the breakout of those flag formations in order to score a profit whenever possible. Um, I'm going to make this video definitely not as long as the previous ones, so the ones uh, uh, going on uh, on the uh, uh, range, uh, on the ranges and triangles topic, um, because most of the trading principles apply, okay? Uh, at the end of the day, a congestion area uh, is just a con congestion area no matter whether they take the shape of a triangle, a range, or a flag, okay? So, most of the training principles we've reviewed in previous videos do apply to flag formations. So, what I'm going to be doing here is simply, I'm just simply going to lay out the uh, uh, what a flag is, uh, what type of patterns, or what type of... of um, uh, price conditions uh, we want to be searching for and uh, then you will be able to apply the same principles like I say the same trading, trading principles you, you've reviewed on the previous videos okay um, alright I'm gonna be showing you both a bearish and a bullish uh, flag formation uh, both of them are equally tradable uh, the only difference is uh, well whether they take place on an uptrend or in a downtrend okay uh, we're gonna be uh, I'm gonna be uh, begin with uh, a bearish flag formation uh, in this case I'm showing you a clear downtrend on the cat against the JPY on the four hours time frame um, a bearish formation basically it's uh, it's a flag upside down okay uh, this is the flag I am talking about uh, right there actually let me mark it uh, with proper trend lines um, here we have the uh, the flag in itself uh, it's basically a retracement channel one second I'm gonna try to adjust the uh, the trend lines as much as possible okay right there uh, here is the upper part of the retracement trend line or the flag uh, sorry of the retracement channel and here we have the pole of the flag which I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna mark in uh, let's say in green for example okay so basically a flag formation in a in a downtrend in a, in a downtrending chart such as this one, uh, it's basically uh, one whole swing. Okay, the pole being the swing uh, in the direction of the main trend, and then the flag in itself being the retracement channel back to resistance levels. Okay. Um, when trading a flag formation, uh, it's important to understand that we are basically swing trading. Okay, basically we are looking to exploit a whole new swing in the direction of the main trend. That's why uh, all the swing trading principles that uh, I, I, I usually look for, such as a confluence of, uh, uh, well, first of all, of course, as usual, uh, a proper moving average formation. Okay, all of them in order, all of them parallel to each other. Uh, all of them uh, point in the same direction the 100 moving average not being breached uh, the uh, dynamic area of support and resistance being respected etc etc okay uh, you, you you've reviewed all that in the first chapter of this course um, and also what, what, what we will be looking for is uh, for a retracement back uh, into that dynamic area of, of resistance. In this case we overshot about uh, uh, three bars I think, uh, one, two and then the third bar we came back down. Uh, you know it's not a big deal uh, you know you can have a quick pierce above as long as you don't get many bar closes above and as long as price doesn't get anywhere near the hundred uh, it's fine like I say as long as price dives back down uh, into the right area of the dynamic area of, of uh, resistance since we are in a downtrend in this case uh, we want price to fall below the dynamic area of, of resistance okay um, 
So, like I'm saying, uh, all the trading principles that we always look for uh, to find in trending scenarios apply uh, when we are basically about to try a flag uh, a flag breakout. Okay, first of all, we must have a retracement back to the uh, to the dynamic area of resistance in a trending scenario, and that will be signified by a retracement channel. In this case, it's marked in blue. All right, right there, it's marked in blue. Uh, it is clearly a retracement channel. Price bounces down, uh, up and down uh, towards that area of, of resistance within this channel, uh, and eventually, uh, once meeting up with this uh, this area of resistance, uh, well, the bears come in place once again, and the downtrend, the overall down market sentiment, does the rest of the job for you, pushing price in a new direction. Okay. Um, and moreover, other than the retracement, what we need to see is a, uh, a confluence of different elements of resistance coming around that area. Uh, the, at the end of the day, uh, holding price below, okay, uh, you know, uh, basically working as, as many different elements of resistance, clustering up together and holding this possible retracement before we see the breakout to the downside. Uh, in this case, what we see uh, is, first of all, we have a Fibonacci retracement level, uh, the 61% Fibonacci level, right to the peak, right there, okay? Uh, also, of course, the dynamic area of resistance, even though, like I say, it was, uh, it, uh, uh, it was pierced by three parts, not big, not a big deal. Uh, and also, if I zoom out a little bit on this chart, uh, we can clearly see that there is a trend line coming down coming down at that level right there okay right there this trend line linking the the uh, top parts the top uh, swing uh, top peak of this trend then the next swing and well it comes uh, the price uh, gets rejected of that level once again there so basically we have uh, 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 different elements coming together at that level like I say uh, let me zoom back in a little bit Right there, take off the trend line, uh, take off the uh, Fibonacci. Okay, uh, so with that in mind that we have uh, a pullback to the dynamic area of resistance and moreover we have uh, a different elements of confluence, okay, confluence of resistance above this, uh, right above this level. Um, if price breaches through as usual, uh, the whole thing will be cancelled. However, if this level uh, manages to uh, to hold price below and from there the retracement channel gets broken in the direction of the main trend we have green lights to search for uh, for a short entry okay like any other type of breakout <coughs> Excuse me. Like any other type of breakout, the entry in itself will give it, uh, will be given by the uh, breakout pullback continuation pattern. This been my entry. This been my stop loss. And well, as you can see, price nicely riding for a new swing to the downside. Okay. Uh, once again, breakout in momentum. You see this breakout long red bar down there. Okay. Breaking below the uh, the retracement uh, channel bottom. We have the breakout then we have a pullback retesting um, breakout levels okay this is the breakout level we have a breakout pullback retesting breakout levels and from there we make new lows triggering our short entry stop loss as usual right above the uh, the uh, pullback uh, aspect few pips above three four pips above uh, and from there well, this is our entry, and from there we write a new swing down. Uh, what about targets? Well, the targets are measured uh, as per the uh, pole of the flag formation. Okay, basically we measure the uh, previous swing uh, total distance, and we add it to the tip of the retracement. Okay, right where the new swing began, and it takes us all the way down here. Uh, actually, let me draw that. Uh, let me um, get the ball of this flag and project it onto the new swing. And there you have it. This level would be our 
uh, our target right there it's where it's met okay you see that we simply simply take the pole of the flag we prolong it uh, in time and uh, well the uh, that level will mark our final target okay very typical uh, very typical uh, flag formation like I say very typical setup uh, it worked nicely we had the uh, uh, a confluence of resistance right above uh, uh, right above that um, up on that up on bouncing of that confluence price broke down uh, to the downside the uh, the retracement channel from there we got the break uh, breakup pullback continuation entry pattern we triggered our short entry we measured our um, uh, the uh, full potential target of this uh, uh, of this flag formation it took a, oh, took us all the way down to this level and well right away up on entry bang price met our target few bars later about five uh, one two three four five six seven bars later so all in all, like I say, a very nice uh, flag uh, flag trade, a flag breakout trade. And that's that's basically it, really, guys. There is not much to say. Uh, just simply remember that when you are trading a flag formation, you are trading a, a, a swinging formation. Okay, you've just gone through the previous swing, and now you are aiming to exploit the next one. Okay, um, uh, once the retracement trend line gives way, that's your entry, and well you try to make some profits uh, out of it but like i say uh it's basically the same type of of uh of uh trading principles like any other any any other any other uh trading uh, consolidation area okay uh imagine a, a flag formation it's basically a range okay remember on the on the ranges uh, videos uh before i was showing you how we have uh how we would find a new swing to the downside into the congestion area from there we bounce up and down up and down okay and eventually the um the main uh, overall uh, market sentiment muscle uh, muscles price uh, in the direction of the uh, of the main trend of course and uh, well, once we have the breakout of the lower band of the range we get our entry and from there we try to range uh, sorry to uh, uh, squeeze some profits uh, out of the next move okay well basically the uh, uh, flag formation is the same thing it's just a leaning range okay do you see this range? So you can see it's basically the same principle, but it's leaning. All right, it's uh, uh, it's not moving sideways as in ranges, um, as in range breakouts, but it's basically just simply leaning a little bit. Okay, with a little bit of a slope. But like I say, the principles are still the same. You need the trend. Okay, you need the moving averages. To catch up with price uh, once you get the breakout only in the direction of the main trend if price continues moving in against the trend you don't take that trade once you get the breakout in the direction of the main trend you wait your entry in the short time frames in the shape of a breakout pull by continuation and from there you enter short you place your stop loss you measure the uh, previous swing uh, total move okay and add it to the tip of the retreat channel and from that you project your final target very very typical uh, price pattern now I'm gonna be showing you what a bullish uh, flag formation look like looks like okay we have one nice uh, uh, f a bullish flag here in this chart that I'm showing you right now. In this case, is the uh, uh, Swiss franc, the uh, USD against the Swiss franc. That being the flag in itself. This being the pole. Let me mark it in green. Okay. And as you can see, basically the same type of pattern. Uh, we have a nice uptrend, all right, as per the moving averages. We have a whole new swing move uh, into the uh, in the direction of the main trend, okay, making new highs. From there, price needs to take a breather. It uh, retraces, swinging back and forth within a tra within a channel, within a retracement channel, to be exact. Once you get the breakouts. 
you are good to go to search for a breakout pullback continuation pattern and from there trigger your long entry and bang off you go your stop loss will be set down here and your final target if you get the whole pole and you add it to the uh, retracement tip uh, to the tip, tip of the retracement sorry it would take you right there there is where you would exit um, uh, the trade okay at this level so uh, as you can see very it's a very easy uh, type of um, of uh, trades okay very easy type of uh, of price pattern uh, in my opinion is not as reliable as ranges breakout I still like ranges breakouts and flat bottom uh, or flat top triangles better than flags uh, simply because uh, since it's uh, a sideways um, range okay or like I was saying a flat bottom uh, triangle uh, imagine price coming from above once bre once it gives a breakout you well basically you enter short hoping to new to ride the new swing to the downside with channels is basically the same thing okay Ca a price comes from above enters a period of consolidation and then it breaks to the downside well in my opinion the factor have of having one clear horizontal level to keep an eye on in meaning that uh, you have a clear level uh, to focus on as far as the breakout and the pullback goes. I, in my opinion, it makes it uh, the entry. It makes the entry much easier than with a pool, with a flag formation, okay, or with a regular triangle, okay. When you have a, a regular triangle, uh, the uh, since you have a sloping trend line, okay, the breakout. Uh, once you have the breakout, the pullback is not usually as clean as it is on a. Uh, on, on a flat bottom triangle or flat top triangle if you're in an uptrend of course or in a sideways range simply for the fact that this re this uh, line that you want to break out from uh, it's it's sloping okay it's it's not as clean okay it's not as as well defined um, than a horizontal line uh, meaning the bottom of the flat bottom triangle or the uh, the range bottom as well uh, so as far as I am concerned it makes it, it makes it a little bit more difficult to uh, to uh, spot the entry okay or at least the right time to uh, to get the entry uh, when you have a, a sideways a sideways range uh, you know that anything below that level as long as this level once broken um, it holds any type of retracement okay anything below that level screams bearish at you or or bullish at you if if you were uh, if you were in an uptrend okay uh, but like i say you have a very clearly defined level to keep an eye on uh, when you have a sloping trend line you know it's not so easy to keep track where the retracement should go or not that's where uh, screen time practice and experience comes from uh, comes in I mean um, but like I say in my personal experience uh, I prefer to try it uh, ranges breakouts than than flag breakouts anyway nonetheless flag breakouts I, I, I definitely do try them okay it's just it might have been just a little bit more difficult, but still I trade them just you know just fine and 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 they do work okay uh, you, you just need a little bit more of of experience to um you know a little more of experience to profit from them the good part about uh, flag formations uh, is that they happen every uh, everywhere okay every time frame every trend you will see many flag formations it's actually the most common of full uh, uh, price formations actually in this very same um, in this very same trend have a look here we have a swing up retracement channel you see retracement channel breakout whole new swing to the upside from them another flag formation another breakout pullback continuation bang a new swing to the upside and then what do we have well <laughs> have a look at the, uh, have a look by yourself we have here another flag formation another one here we have a tiny little tiny flag formation anyway it then it that, that that tiny flag formation gives way to our um, our main flag formation the one we've just been um, 
we've just been reviewing on this uh, on this video etc etc but nonetheless like I say they happen so often all right so often uh, if you master this type of price uh, uh, of price pattern uh, well you will definitely become a profitable trader um, especially as usual because you are trading a breakout in the direction of the main trend okay uh, and only once the breakout is being confirmed with a breakout pull by continuation uh, like I say flex formation uh, you you gotta you gotta become familiar with them because they happen so often okay so often uh, that well uh, it's the uh, it's the uh, easiest to spot uh, out of all uh, out of all trading uh, uh, patterns because well have a look in in just one trend we had three following swings three following flags okay and therefore three following um, uh, breakouts uh, on a row that you could have profited from okay every time they be, they give way bang new swing to the upside they give way bang new sw swing to the upside it gives way bang new swing to the upside so it is important to become familiar with flags okay uh, like I, they, they are so common uh, that if, if, if you want to become a truly successful uh, of, uh, trend trader you must get accustomed to trading the flags all right all right, guys, uh, that's all for this video. Like I said, there is not much to say about flags because you are already familiar with the breakout concepts, okay? Um, trading consolidation areas in the direction of the main trend uh, upon a breakout pull by continuation pattern. We've reviewed already a few videos and I don't want to, you know, I, I don't want to uh, get too repetitive. So, uh, nonetheless, uh, go back through, uh, go back your, your charts, okay? Scroll back in time, uh, try to find, um, try to find uh, all those uh, healthy trends as per the moving averages all right all of them parallel to each other uh, in order etc etc uh, and once you find that type of, of price action uh, you will see or try to find uh, different flags okay I'm sure you will find many of them okay and I'm sure um, once you get accustomed to them uh, well the you will be able to make uh, money just by trading them okay it's it's typical uh swing trading always in the direction of the main trend it's a very very typical and very profitable type of trading okay all right guys uh that's all with uh, this video we've reviewed the three types of um of uh, price formations i tried myself uh, ranges triangles and flags uh sometimes they combine onto each other sometimes they they uh, present themselves, uh, uh, you know, alone by themselves, um, and sometimes you get many, uh, as in this case, many uh, different, uh, uh, you know, formations in a row, one after the other one. Uh, I'm gonna be talking in more detail uh, upon this topic on the next video on the next uh, uh, part of this chapter uh, but nonetheless like I said those are the three main uh, elements I, the, the three main pi uh, price pattern I tried triangles ranges and flags um, always in the in direction of the main trend of course I definitely recommend you to pay attention to breakouts you could definitely become a successful trader just trading breakouts okay Alright folks, that's all. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to uh, send me an email. I will very gladly give you my, my feedback. Bye-bye.